congregation did not feel that we were in any imminent danger of closing, but we knew from JCLP really that we needed to have a plan anyway. I thought that that was a sign that our congregation was not gonna be viable and that we were gonna to have to close our doors and that was terrifying to me. But nothing could have been further from the truth. The best forms of guidance that we received was how would we preserve our legacy? And with JCLP's help, we decided to submit our minutes to the American Jewish Archive. We've partnered with JCLP because we are a national repository for the records of the American Jewish community, keeping the history of these congregations alive. Because money is always an issue in a small congregation, he encouraged us to start a capital campaign, which we did, and it was most successful. So we were very surprised and we would have probably never done that had he not suggested that. Our congregation shrunk to about 30 family units. I became a member of the board and they had already contacted Noah. He has been fundamental in our congregation surviving and actually growing. And the president said, you're in charge of the rabbi search. And so I picked up the phone and called Noah. And by that afternoon, I had heard from three different organizations and by a week and a half, 18 rabbis that were interested. Within less than two weeks, we had a rabbi firmed up who we're extremely pleased with. And this was thanks to Noah. We have acquired some very, very enthusiastic young people who really want to be Jewish, who want to participate, want to make sure that the congregation stays viable. And JCLP has a lot to do with it. JCLP formed this cohort with 13 small congregations in Southwest Pennsylvania, and we get together via Zoom and meet and discuss our needs, our wants. Books were very rare and expensive. So what would a community do? Well, they come together, then they would buy a Torah scroll. We plan programs for people that are in very, very small congregations that they have the opportunity to join programming geared toward Jewish people. To make the decision to sell our building was huge, huge. And we needed a congregational vote on that. How to connect with our congregation. We'd forgotten how to do that. So I actually did a web search and I found the Jewish Community Legacy Project. They were a great help in being able to see what our congregation really wanted to do. I just completed a survey. We said, no, you need to talk to people on the phone. And they were interested where we were going to go and what were our options. So that sparked enthusiasm about the synagogue. You know, oh, maybe just because I haven't been coming to services doesn't mean I don't care. I and others didn't realize that maybe we couldn't get everyone to be as committed as we were, but we could get them to be more committed than they were. Incredible mentorship from Noah. Always he respected our autonomy, that he might make a recommendation and we may not go with it. And that's okay. It's been very positive, very positive.